Brought to you by Manscaped. Stay tuned for more information. This is your average trampoline park. You've likely visited one before and got to experience such thrilling attractions as the budget trampolines with the equivalent bounce of a twin mattress, the super safe foam pits, which you certainly won't hit the bottom of, and who could forget the kid who no matter what will end up right underneath you. To be fair, these trampoline parks were actually built exclusively for these teleporting children. They were never designed to be a true sports facility, but more of an expensive daycare. And while it's a good business model, it did little for people like my friends and I who were interested in progressing our skills. With the closest good training spots requiring a road trip or plane ticket, we turned to building our own setups at home and simultaneously ruining our parents' backyards, houses, and mental health. But there came a point when I realized a trampoline isn't the best centerpiece in a living room, so I decided to create a dedicated flipping environment. If you watched my reveal video, you've already gotten a tour of my new trampoline gym, but what would happen if you invited 20 of some of the best flipping athletes in the world to test it out? Yup, yup. While I had these guys at my gym, I could not pass up the opportunity to learn some new tricks from them. My first lesson was on the tramp wall from my friend Anthony, who actually performs on one of these for a circus show in Tennessee. Never in my life have I seen anyone this good at tramp wall, or who looks more like Jesus. Oh, and he's also invincible. Oh, oh. you good? Yeah. All right. Like the real Jesus. What? So I've been getting a little tramp wall lesson from one of the best tramp wallers in the world right here. Before today, I could barely jump above the purple line. I couldn't push properly. Check this out. My little twist was good for my skill level, but what I really wanted to do was bounce up to the top like Jesus. I knew it wasn't going to be anywhere near as graceful as his, but when I touched my hands to the top, I knew it was possible. Yes! On top of the wall! We made it! Alright, now you gotta jump down! Huh? I really didn't feel comfortable enough yet to jump down. But I followed his orders, and it almost cost me my foot. There you go! <laughs> yep, I did. Let's go, dude. Thank you. Oh, I'm leveling up, mate. I'm a tramp waller. I'm a tramp waller. I don't believe No, I'm a tramp waller. <laughs> no, I'm a tramp waller. For my next seminar, my friend Levi, whose skills rival that of world champion trickers, tried teaching me a move called the TDR. Yeah. Minus the epic last part. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's a fairly basic move for most trickers, but since my background is trampoline, this type of movement felt completely foreign. No way! Yes! No! You can do it! Oh god! Let's go! Let's go! No! Yo, that was it! Yo, it was good! Get that confidence, bro. You need 100% confidence going into this trick, bro. I'm confident! Let's go! He's confident! With my confidence soaring, I committed to the trick and found out, wow, I should stretch more. And since my flexibility couldn't be fixed in a day, my new goal was to do a trick directly after it. But since my TDR was kind of terrible, the more I tried, the more doubtful I became. No. Luckily, Levi isn't just a tricker. He's also a therapist. Don't overthink it, Tenny. You're overthinking. Just chill, bro. Relax, relax. We're having fun. We're having fun. Feel how nice it feels, bro. Just chill it. You know how you can do this. You can do this. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Thank you so much, bro. Learning from all the pros. But one challenge remained. A borderline impossible trick that stumps almost everyone that tries it. And after watching these attempts, you likely still can't tell what flip I'm talking about. That's probably because it's not even really a flip. It's called a cork zero, a trick where you begin going upside down, but then return to your feet without ever rotating over your head. Yeah. I don't get it either. But I started giving it a try. I was completely clueless during my first 30 or so attempts, despite getting shown exactly how to do it. The movement was so unnatural. It made the TDR seem like a walk in the park. No! Uh, no! Nah. But after an hour of trying it, something finally clicked. Oh! At the end of it, you have to swivel hip like hips back. Don't turn your shoulders, only the hips at I'm the end. I'm trying to swivel mine, mate. No, he's not, clearly. I'm 
can land it. He can land it. I want to land it. Swivel more. Wow, this sh is crazy. Yeah. But now that I had my taste of victory, there was no way I was giving up on this one. Did you see that? Let's f***ing go! Dude, that just clicked in my head, now I know I got it. Yup, yup. Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Yo! Dude, that has to be legit. I think that, that was it, yeah. Be. That has to be. After an excruciating hour and a half, I'd finally done it. The impossible trick was mine. Yeah. For about three minutes, until I completely forgot how to do it. but we just won't talk about that. Once I'd gotten my fill of new tricks and it was time for someone else's turn, we decided to pick on the inexperienced and see if we couldn't quickly turn one of them into an extreme sports athlete. This is my sister's friend, Carissa, and as you can tell, she hasn't spent much time on a trampoline. <laughs> but she was able to do one trick, a front flip, and today we were going to make it a double. Are you ready? Uh, we'll see. All you gotta do, stay tucked. Um, you got it. But she wouldn't stay tucked and every time we told her to stay tucked, she tucked less. And after many front flips right onto her face, it finally happened. <laughs> JK, who would've thought she still wouldn't stay tucked? But maybe, just maybe, she could do the impossible. Untuck, but still do the double. She's got the audience. Yeah! <laughs> It counts. It counts. Well, I'd say this event was a success. Everyone had a good time, somehow nobody got hurt, and I don't think any crazier stunts could ever be done in here. Or could they? Now that I think of it, there are some pretty dangerous ideas I got while building the place that haven't yet been attempted. But if I were to test those, I'd definitely need some help. If only I could get one of those Red Bull athletes or Ninja Warrior guys. Yeah, right. Pro Ninja Warrior, what? <laughs> Word around town is you're too scared to do your own gym challenges. Okay, well, calm down. That's not exactly true. I'm on my way. Bob Reese isn't only a Red Bull Art of Motion and Ninja Warrior finalist, he's also a content creator whose physical comedy you've definitely seen before. <laughs> Also joining us are my friends Mike and Reagan, who have competed in cliff jumping competitions, set world records, and are also super talented. But before we do that, let me quickly tell you about today's sponsor. Don't you hate it when you hop off the trampoline and get that unflattering whiff of yourself? Well luckily, Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations for all of your odor zones. And today, they've hooked me up with a bunch of stuff from their Performance Package 4.0 that we're about to check out. The first thing to highlight is their brand new Lawn Mower 4.0. This is their fourth generation electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which means it reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions of the body. Listen to that purr. And since it's cordless and waterproof, that means you can shave in the shower, and it makes for easy cleanup too. It's even got a travel lock feature, so if you tap it three times, it's ready to go in your bag. Also included in the package is some stuff I did not know I needed. This is the Crop Preserver, ball deodorant, and the Crop Reviver is a convenient spritz with aloe vera whenever you need to quickly freshen up some of your areas. And this is probably my favorite. It's their disposable shaving mat called the Magic Mat. It has tons of funny content and some hair design recommendations if you're feeling, well, Ballsy. For a limited time, you can get all of this, plus their anti-chafing boxers and their travel bag, all included. Go to manscaped.com today for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping, plus your two free gifts when you use promo code TANNER at checkout. Manscaped, the perfect tool for your family jewels. Now back to the video. Once everybody had made it and I showed them around the gym, the guys immediately started hitting super creative tricks I'd never even seen before. And they were just messing around. What? <laughs> I wish I could say the same for me. Oh! Ow. Freshly warmed up, and in my case, freshly humiliated, it was now time for the challenges I created for them, each being more difficult than the last. And for the first one, I decided to demonstrate. Yep. Oh! oh. 
just... It was looking so good and all I of a know. sudden, nope. Redo. <laughs> oh. Let's go. I figured they could all make it over the net, but Mike quickly took it to the next level. Oh my god. That was so good. Jeez. Oh, dude, that's gonna be sick. <laughs> if there's a winner to each of these challenges, that one was Mike. The next challenge was to gain her off of the tramp wall tower, over the trampoline, into the foam pit. I think it's gonna be one of the easier ones because I have a background in parkour, so I'm used to like flipping gaps. So. Okay. But I'll jump it, but flipping it's just a whole nother thing. The guys felt pretty confident after some test jumps, and were ready to send it. Two, one. Oh, easily. Is this also easy for you? Yeah. Wow. <gasps> While the rest of us couldn't even get ourselves to flip the gap, Bob and Mike were upping the ante by adding a full twist. <laughs> what? I cleared that by so much. Perfect death dive. <laughs> easily. Holy crap. Let's go. <laughs> but Bob took the cake when he finished off with a double side flip and a freaking cork zero. What? Jesus. For the third challenge, I wanted to see if it was possible to jump the 18 foot gap over the super tramp onto the airbag. Being a short platform and run up, we knew it was gonna be close. But still, they didn't think a normal jump was cool enough. <laughs> oh. I touched the edge though. Oh my gosh. Yo. Oh. And that's why I'm not doing these. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all right so that we can put you through more <laughs> treacherous situations. Oh, oh yeah, you came in those so hands. fast. <laughs> oh my Jeez. God. Despite Bob almost scoring a trip to the hospital, the guys decided to push this spot even further by wall running the gap for challenge number four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just try and clear it, bro. I'm going for the full thing. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is really fun. <laughs> Yo, what? So easily. <laughs> After careful consideration, in the case of Mike's front flip 360 versus Bob's wall spin, I had to declare this one a tie. And that brings us to our fifth challenge. It's the newest addition to the park, and not to toot my own horn, but you guys know how I'm pretty good on a rope swing, right? Well, turns out, I'm even better at building them. Uh, yeah, that's my skin. But somehow, the guys trusted the safety of my repaired rope swing, and were ready to give it a try onto the trampoline. <laughs> and since they still had their back skin, I decided to give this one a shot too. Ten feet down to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. What? I did one of the cool challenges. Let's go. And I'm done. But of course, they instantly put mine to shame by taking away the pads and trying some combos. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yo! <laughs> wow. Following the funeral we had for Mike's cheeks oh. Oh. and his lame attempt at a double front to face combo I mastered a long time ago, he went back up for redemption to tie it all up. Yeah! Let's go! Woo oh, that goes so <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I think all the challenges up to this point were probably easy compared to this one. Do you think you can jump to the air track all the way down there? It's so high. <laughs> very, very high. He's confident. He said yes immediately. If you don't cork zero this staircase right now. <laughs> With a total falling distance of 20 feet, a narrow takeoff, and only two small mats to land on, this was definitely the most intimidating challenge yet. Although their practice jumps looked promising, we all watched quiet and nervously as they stepped back for the real thing. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> if you're wondering how they were able to take so much impact, it's actually pretty simple. If you look closely at this slow-mo shot, you can tell as they hit the ground that God has clearly blessed them with superior knees and left the rest of us to live like Bambi. <laughs> Bob and Reagan must have known this because after multiple jumps, they decided to add a four foot railing in the way and a twist. While Bob's was a bit cleaner, I've got to give this round to Reagan for sending it twice and for doing the jump the most amount of times. And so we entered the final round. Well, we've made it this far without any injuries. Do we want to? Do, Do we, we want to get push? injured? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Do we want to push for the last challenge idea? What's the last challenge? Oh, right yeah. up there. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Bob, that's got your name literally written I, on it. I think it might. I think I see it. Is there. it up there? Bob oh, yeah. Reese. Yeah, it does this say is that. your challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You have good eyesight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the goal with this is to climb this up the ladder, get to the rail right there. We're going to climb across it to the center, and then we're going to drop and possibly do some flips. I have a legit excuse to not do it. I would so do it otherwise. All right. Dude. I actually do want to jump off the ladder. You want to jump off the ladder? Yeah. <laughs> it looks fun. That seems more scary than dropping from the top. Per Bob's idea, we all took turns holding the ladder and jumping from each step. Step on, just from the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is bad luck, right? <laughs> At this point, the ladder really started getting wobbly, so Bob decided it would be safer to just commit to the climb. And once your feet leave the ladder, that's what you have to do. Oh my god! He's doing it! He's doing it! <laughs> Let's go. I thought the cliff jumpers would have tried this one for sure, but the only other person who did was my friend Lane, who randomly showed up at the end. Which means Bob had officially broken the tie and won the first, and let's be honest, probably last, this is way too dangerous, flip pad games. Well, the flip over the railing definitely should have been the last challenge, because it was the hardest, because here I am thinking about climbing up to the top and dropping. It is my gym after all, I think, I think I have to. All my friends came over and they dropped from the ceiling and I sat and watched. No. As I started inching my way out across the beam, holding on by my toes and fingertips, all I could think about was falling onto the plywood again, but from triple the height with a still injured back. But since I was past the point of return, I channeled my inner Alex Honnold, got to the 35 foot peak, and somewhat enjoyed the fall. Ah! Let's go. Oh my god, my foot is scraping so bad from all <laughs> The Midwest meetup, the trial opening we had, and now these last couple days of craziness have all been some of the most fun and fulfilling days in my life recently. Putting together the finishing touches after almost two years of work and seeing the gym finally completed has been great, but nothing will ever beat getting to enjoy it with the people around me. And maybe I'll get to enjoy it with more of you if we ever find affordable insurance. But I have a feeling this video isn't helping with that. Well, fingers crossed. In the meantime, I'm in Hawaii filming my next project, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh, and enjoy these bloopers. Yeah. Oh! oh. You good? Oh. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye all the viewers. <laughs> <laughs>